it is a picture perfect summer day. But the residents and the tourists aren't the only ones enjoying the beaches in the Okanagan. They just got uh, geese poop everywhere. You have to watch what they're playing in, if there's any balls or anything that goes on their hands, and then it goes on their face or their clothes. They can't sit anywhere because there's just geese poop everywhere around this park. So they've gone a little bit out of control. Brad Newman visits Vernon several times a year. He loves taking his grandchildren to Kin Beach because of its gradual bottom, long stretch of sand, and playground close by that serves as a backup if the grandkids get bored. They seem to be taking over. There's more this year than last year. When it comes to our fine feathered friends and the remnants that they seem to leave behind everywhere, what do you think? Yeah, I, it's definitely not my favorite. Um, I deal with it for sure, but uh, sometimes it's worth having a fun beach day, but it's definitely not my favorite. <laughs> I just like suck it up and go to the beach, um, walk around the goose poop, <laughs> do what we can. I don't like the smell of poop. We take it as an opportunity to teach the children a little bit about nature and uh, where we are and that the goose, the geese, um, this is their home, not ours. They come here for the grass, this is their habitat. So if we can eliminate some of the grass or maybe fence it off, that might be a benefit. I know that culling the geese is, you know, like people get excited about that, but there's just too many and it's affecting the quality of the beach. Along with harrowing the beaches daily and surf raking bi-weekly, the city cleans the grass at Kin Beach, Paddlewheel Park, Lakeshore Park and Marshall Field two to three times a week. In Vernon, Tracy Prediger, Castanet.